Hey, what's going on, Baywolf Nation? It's I'm Baywolf back at it with another video. So I've been telling you guys in the uploads that in the, the future videos, I was going to have some new mods coming for the SXR 1500. Well, all right, well, I'm going to show you what is going to be a future mod being installed. Um, and there's going to be a bunch of videos coming with a couple different things installing on my 2017 Kawasaki SXR 1500 stand up jet ski. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification so you're notified as soon as a video is uploaded on my channel. All right, let's get it going. Man, stand up looks so good. All right, so, doesn't look like much here, right? <laughs> I've been waiting for jet trim to get this ad, and that's why I've been waiting to show what everything is to get. So, before we get all talking about what's going on, so this would be an under pad that would go on the bottom once you pull out the whole existing stock tray. And I'll show you guys that kind of it's all step by step showing stuff. So this would be the under pad, right? So I'm gonna move this right over here. I'll just lay it right like that. I've been having everything laying out to get all nice and uh, flat. Uh, this was all curled up, so I've been laying this under a box to get all flat. So this is the, gonna be the under pad. And the cool thing is, this is going to be a hump, front hump right here, and then these wedges that will be on the sides. So I'm like, I'm, I've done, if you've seen the video, I installed the Jetron seat cover on my 2019 Yamaha GP 1800R, and I got one on my RX PX uh, 2018 Sea Dew. The seats are easy to do. The trays, whoo, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So this is what the tray is going to be. Now there's a, a hole in the back that I use as a tie down, which I'll show you. So I'll have to figure out how I'm going to, you know, make a hole and I want to reuse that because I find it is the best way to strap this down where we don't have to worry about the ski flying off the trailer. So this is the under mat and it looks really cool. What I'm going to do too is I'm going to be reusing. I actually can show you guys right here real easy. So this is this tie down that I found. It's really, really nice. It doesn't hit anything with the pump. It barely touches on the uh, ride plate. So what I'm gonna try to figure out is how I'm gonna reuse uh, this whole, I don't know what you consider calling the, this eyelid or whatnot, but it's really nice how it straps down. So what my goal is, I just picked up today with ordering. So I got new rivets. And then there's these washers. So I got new ones. Just, you know, I don't know if I have to reuse them or not. I plan on reusing this piece. I've seen posts where some people have and some people haven't. I really don't know, you know, where I'm going to go at, if I'm going to do it or not. But I have it, so I'm able to. It's kind of weird how this isn't that flat. I just figure the best ways to keep the tray down in place. So, um, this is kind of what the bottom part is. And it's really nice. I tell you, Jet Trim really does some really cool stuff. And for the stand-ups and for sit-down jet skis, they're the best way to go. So we'll set this right here. Now what you have to do, and now I'm going to do a whole video install it. So when you install these different pieces, when you put that under mat, you have to cut it all out to put this in place. And it all has to fit. Like this, this is going to be going underneath that. And I tell you, this is probably, you know, it's not gonna be impossible. It's gonna be time consuming. And um, let's get on to showing the rest of these pieces. So the cool thing is this is gonna be part of the front. So what I'll have to do is, you know, remove these decals and do sanding down and seeing how this isn't even smooth. I mean, this is gonna be, it's not gonna be impossible to do. And I think when you start doing it, you start with the center right there. And I'm gonna do a whole video on installing this, and I'm doing, I'm gonna do a whole video showing how to take off this stock uh, tray. So this is gonna be the front part of it, and it's really nice. If you can see real close, it's uh, the carbon fiber look with the green stitching. And um, from the graphics, I mean, it's pretty close. Like I tell people all the time, when you're getting stuff, nothing's ever gonna exactly match with it, but it's pretty close. I figured to go with the green, Kawasaki green. That's kind of why I want that route. Now these are going to be the sides, which I think go this way. So this is going to be, yeah, so that's going to be 
this side, and then you gotta wrap these over. So it's gonna be a lot of challenging. You have to actually sand down in areas once you take off the, the tray. But I can show you guys these pieces, because once you get on, it's gonna be really hard to see. So they have these like um, side pieces, so when you're leaning in, you can put your feet on. I have something similar like this that I'm gonna be installing and doing an install video on my Yamaha GT1800R. And you've seen when I got, I did a whole unboxing when I got the custom seat and I showed it. So I don't know if I'm gonna start with this one first or do that one. Maybe, I don't know. I have so much glue, there's certain adhesive stuff you have to use. So I hope I have enough for everything I'm doing. I'm gonna try doing it with a spray gun and I got the right kind of paint brushes too. So these are just the pieces. So they're really nice. Got the carbon fiber, the green. Woo! Man, it looks so sharp. I actually can't wait to put them in. I think it's gonna look so cool. Now I've seen some people what they've done is left the stock pad on here. The hard thing I think with attaching it is you got these grooves. So when you're hitting this adhesive, it's not gonna really get in there and it's gonna get a lot of like water down in there. It could make it come loose. So that's why I think I'm gonna go with that pad first. But I had to remove all this stuff out. So then you got these wedges and um, now I have to figure out what side goes where and whatnot. And I think you have to cut it down. Um, they got a really nice install video, but I'm gonna do my own too, just to kind of show you guys, maybe somebody who's not done it before. Uh, but I think you have to cut down it these these sides of where how it goes down is what I from what I'm aware of. Um, plus two, you cut in there. It's gonna be this is gonna be a challenge. This is a project. This is I take I like taking on cool things. It's definitely gonna be woo, gonna be a lot of work. And uh, so these are these pieces. But I want to show you guys up close, um, kind of what the stock tray looks like. And here we're talking two different manufacturers here. So factory, they have HydroTurf that's on here. This does nice, but you can tell I keep a dive knife on me when I ride. When I ride sit downs, and I can tell that the dive knife is not gonna work because look at this, last time I went riding this, this wave almost took me out. I mean, it put a big hole into this turf on this side. And then it's been, when I get on and off, it's been scratching right up there, which is not a big deal. Cool thing is with the new tray, it's gonna come right over this. So my goal is to, like I said, reuse this. They sell a hook that can go underneath there, you drill. See, now I already have this and it's really nice securing the stand-up. Um, when I bought it, it had this actually, this like crazy long strap, it was a big old hassle. This thing is real nice, tightening and loosening on the style trailer and it's good to have this thing really strapped down. I plan on once this whole coronavirus thing kind of dies down is taking this out and going on some road trips with taking the ski to other states and stuff is kind of what my plan is. So I really want to make sure it's really secured on the trailer so you're not going super fast and then the ski goes flying off. Because if you don't have a back strap, I guarantee you this thing's not going to stay, stay on. And my feeling is, is you could get that hook through them, but the problem is it's just going to be finding the right strap for how short it is there, then that really works. So I'm hoping this all works out reusing this. I think it's just, it just tighten on underneath. And um, I think there's enough adjustment on it that I can adjust the height of where I'm going at with it. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see when I get it. So I'm gonna do another video showing how you remove this. And I'm hoping it's gonna be a real easy process of getting this off and then I'm gonna do a whole nother video prepping this. The other real cool things too, future videos, I have a new ride plate coming. I won't see what brand until we do the video with that and a new intake rate. And that's kind of where I wanna start with doing that. I get an idea of what sponsons I wanna run on this. And I don't think I'm really gonna do a lot of crazy stuff with it. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna even change the pole on it to a different one. I mean, it's a working process of getting it riding it but from what i found the intake grade and the ride plate are like the best ones on the market from looking at a lot of people's reviews on what's out there so that's where i'm going with that and then once i get used to that it's then finally stepping up doing the ride plate but i'm really excited about doing the tray and i really want to get it knocked out because what's going on right now all the public boat ramps are closed 
because of the coronavirus. So my goal is to get this all kind of knocked out because um, the boat ramp I go to with this, I found it's a really nice spot. There's really no lakes around here. So the intercoastal waterway, I found this really nice boat ramp that I've gone. It's closed. So I'm basically, who knows when it's gonna reopen, but I'd rather have this thing all ready to go, even though I can't ride it. Uh, this I have another spot on the intercoastal way, or intercoastal waterway I could go out. The problem is it's this thing, place called the Walk in my river, it's loaded, loaded, loaded with gators. And I do not feel fun stomping around. This is like the right before the breeding season for alligators. It's, I've had in the past, going there past videos from a couple of years ago, alligators lunging at me when I'm going past them uh, on the sit down. And I do not want to be messing with the stand up with actual alligators in the water. I know they're out there, but I don't want to be out there when they're like, this thing isn't even like an alligator is bigger than one of these. So, but our goal is to get all ready. So as soon as that boat ramp opens up, I can let it rip, let it up. But I tell you, man, I love the stand up. I kind of really like the lineup. If you're new to the channel, you kind of, I got CU, Yamaha, Kawasaki. So kind of the three best of what the manufacturers make. And got yellow, blue, black, green. And uh, definitely it's uh, the ultimate garage with jet skis. Definitely want to be adding another ski into the channel. Comment down below. What do you guys think? There, there's, I have another garage at my house. So I have room to have another one or two skis. Comment on the bottom. What ski do you guys think I should be adding to the channel? I've been pondering about a couple. And um, that's either what I'm looking at. Kind of what I'm looking at is a Yamaha Superjet. Or getting a Spark Tricks is what I'm looking at. I know a lot of people in comment and they want me to get Sparks Tricks. So kind of what I'd like to get is another, either another single trailer or another dual trailer, and then put the Spark Tricks on it with the Kawasaki. Or if you got a Yamaha Superjet, they make like attachments that can hook onto the hitch. So I think I can put one on top of the other and then take both. But I don't know if that will work. I really don't know. I'm looking at the market of that, of what I want to do. So comment on the bottom below, what kind of ski you want to go looking at. I was even looking at like older ones like a GP1300R. There was somebody on, on trying to sell one real cheap, but then they put, took off the ads. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking. So comment what you guys want to see. Um, or maybe even get another Kawasaki SSR1500. I don't know. I really like this. I really like the new ones too, where they got the black and the green, but easy, you could change all that stuff, um, put it on there. But I don't know, I'm thinking about doing custom graphics on this thing too, so I don't know. I'm trying to, there's a lot of a lot of plans for all the skis. I want to do all custom graphics on all of them. I got graphics going to be installing on this ski. But pretty much this video upload was showing with this tray, and I tell you, Jet Trim really has some cool custom stuff from, you know, the, the sit down, the stand-ups. So if you're out there looking at it, I mean, this stuff is just really nice quality stuff. And uh, the nice thing is I'm gonna put a video out together showing how to install this on the ski. And I'm real excited with what this thing is gonna feel like putting that on there. And I'm crossing my fingers that this is real easy to take on and off, but I just don't know. But I think too, you've gotta to remove Yeah, see the tray goes in there. And then you got, this is, see what's crazy is you got this bolted on, this is riveted on. So I got five of the rivets here, but I might have to do it. Um, the other, the get another two for taking this piece off. I don't know, so that's why I'm all kind of thinking at it, what you need. And I want to make sure I have all my stuff I need with doing it. But also maybe, maybe this doesn't need, I don't think this mat really goes that far out. No, no, I'll take it back. It looks like it does. Yeah, it goes kind of narrow out. So I might have to order a couple more rivets. I think I need to at least get two more. But anyways, it's the end of the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification to see the next video uploaded. Um, 
Also, too, check out the I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. This is one of the t-shirts that will be up on my online store soon. Also, too, I have an Amazon store that's Amazon.com slash shop slash I Am Beowulf. Be driven to win. Remember, every day is birthday. The motto for 2020, never give up, never surrender. With everything going on in the coronavirus, it's definitely a 2020 saying. I'm Beowulf. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Beowulf Nation. <laughs>